ASU Ramilly. Most important, hello student body. I am Dr. Kenneth Kirsch. I am our fitness center director, health and wellness director, as well as assistant professor here. And welcome to the ASU West Campus Fitness Center. Today we are going to show some demonstrations of different types of workout programs for students that when you come in here, you have an idea of what you want to do. We are going to use a fellow student pupil here, Mr. Rudy Arisma, as our demonstrator for all the exercises that we will do. We will break down each technique and we will break down each workout. A question that is asked to me numerous times throughout the day, throughout the week, not just by students, but several people, how do I develop a program? Can you write me up a program? What should I do when I get in the fitness center? And I tell them, well, first, what is your goal? You need to set a goal. Without that, you cannot attain or accomplish anything. So yes, I could just write up programs and tell you what to do and even show you, but if you aren't putting it into practice, and if you aren't understanding why you're doing that, well, then there's no reason. So therefore, the first thing you need to do is set a goal. Today, we are gonna demonstrate uh, two different workouts and it's going to be based on your goal of which one is most suited for you. What is your goal? Is it to maintain your current fitness levels? Uh, is it to build muscle mass and muscle girth? Is it to tone and define? Is it to lose weight? Is it to burn body fat? Is it all the above? You know, and the thing about it is you can't do them all at once. So you need to focus on little areas, little small goals before you have and reach your ultimate goal. Today we're going to show two workout plans. One is called a vertical loading phase and the other one is called a horizontal loading phase. Now based on your goal is which one you will decide to do. The vertical loading phase is great. It's a full body approach. If you are trying to maintain your current levels, if you're trying to tone and define, if you're trying to lose weight and burn body fat, perhaps the vertical loading phase would be the best route for you. If you were trying to build muscle mass, get bigger, get stronger, muscle density, a horizontal loading phase would be best for you because it's a split body routine and it focuses on higher weight, lower reps, and more exercises per each muscle group. We are talking about the six major muscle groups today, what we're going to demonstrate. Chest, back, shoulders, biceps, triceps, your breaker radialis in your arms, and of course, your lower body. And then what else? Your core. Everyone asks me, I want to do abs. How do I get abs? Well, if you are partaking in a resistance training uh, a workout, you should always be targeting your core in everything that you do. So before we get started, before you get into lifting any weight, putting any weight on a bar or a dumbbell, I am a proponent of doing a warm-up. Uh, I, I, I advocate a 10 to 15 minute warm up no matter what you're doing uh, to get your body ready. You have to get blood pumping throughout your body. You have to get blood to those muscles. You have to warm up uh, you know, all the ligaments and joints and if you have any injury perhaps, you have to get some blood to that so you feel good and your body's prepared and ready to go for whatever exercise program you partake upon. So I, I suggest two things that you may want to do when you walk into our, any fitness center. One is a cardio uh, machine. Whether it's a treadmill, uh, an elliptical, a specialty machine, a bike, our Stairmaster. If you choose a cardio machine, I would go a minimum of 12 to 15 minutes. Because again, you're gonna start building up a sweat, you're gonna start raising your heart rate. Once we raise our heart rate, what is that good for? We're gonna start burning calories, which obviously was something we wanna do in all our workouts. But two, I'm also going to show a full body exercise routine here, which I think is a great start to get you ready and prepared mentally and physically because both go hand in hand when you are doing any exercise program. So it'll get you prepared physically as well as mentally, but it's a full exercise routine. Uh, we'll break a sweat and it's very easy to do. And I'm also going to show a couple different ways to do it. So whether you're a novice or more advanced, you decide which exercise you will perform in each of the sets. Now we're gonna bring Rudy in, our demonstrator, to show the full body uh, exercise routine. As I talked about uh, earlier uh, in the video, performing a warm up before you start any resistance training. I gave you two choices. The one could be a cardio machine if you uh, select to do that way. I, I would go 12 to 15 minutes to get your body ready. Or as we're gonna show here, actually as Rudy's gonna show here, this is a full body exercise routine. I think it's great because it stimulates the muscle, it gets blood flowing, you're gonna have a little bit of a sweat, 
and you're gonna burn a good 100 maybe calories in this little warm up here as well. We're gonna do four exercises. One is a straight arm jack. The second is a body squat. The third is called a down and up, which the body squat and down and up, I will show two methods of how you can do that depending on your level. And then the last, the fourth exercise is a back lunge. With each, uh, you will go through each exercise and then after you're done the fourth one, that will conclude that set. Uh, I would recommend three to four sets for each and you will rest about a minute, minute and a half in between each set. It should take about, if you do it correctly, about eight to 10 minutes. So Rudy now is gonna demonstrate the straight arm jack. So here we go, Rudy, and begin. As you can see, his arms are twisting up and as he brings his elbows back into his uh, body, he's ex fully extending his arms. He's putting a slight bend in his knee and what's really important is he's drawing in his navel area and tightening his core. You would do 12 repetitions of the straight arm jack, okay? Next is the body squat. Now there's two ways that we're gonna show this. First, I'm gonna have them do the body squat as I call it the walkout body squat. Maybe you're not ready to go right into a full lunge body squat, so we're gonna walk it, uh, walk it out. So his feet are together, his feet are together, feet are together, feet are together. And as he's gonna do, he's gonna walk each leg out about three steps and then go down into a body squat. Here we go, Rudy. One, two, three, into a squat and back up, walk it in, boom and walk it out, one, two, three, squat, as you can see, walk it back in. His hips hinge, hip hingements going back, his knees behind his toe, his body, up, uh, body is upright, uh, and to get a full deep squat. Now the second way is you could jump right into the body squat if you are a little bit more advanced and you feel that you uh, can handle this. When, with the jump out, though you're gonna do everything at once. So now with the jump out though as well, we're gonna bring our arms down, and then as I jump out, I'm gonna bring my arms back into like a bicep curl. So here we go and go, boom. As you can see, he's getting his biceps involved now as well. Again, we wanna get all the major muscle groups involved so we're prepared for that workout. As you can see, his feet come in, feet go out, hip hingement is perfect, his knees are behind his toe and he gets deep into that squat. Well done, Rudy, thank you. Okay, the next uh, exercise, for that we would do another 12 repetitions. I'm a 12 guy, it's my favorite number, so that's why I always do 12 repetitions. You may wanna step up a little bit for this one. This one is called the down and out, or down and up, I'm sorry. So uh, with this, you could do it two ways. First, we're gonna show, it, it may have been, uh, you may know, th uh, know this as the inchworm, but as Rudy goes down, let's go Rudy, he walks it out, straighten up, hold, walks his legs back in, and he stands up. As we do that again, walks it straight out, fully extend, uh, freeze for a second, walk it back in. And let's go from the side view so we can show our students how to do it from the side. So again, you're down. You can walk out that way as well if you want to. And he walks it back in. So again, now do it uh, one more time, please. Now the one thing that he has uh, not demonstrated here that I would recommend to do, as you go down, you wanna bend your knees too. So uh, go back up, uh, Rudy, straight up. So as you're getting ready to go down, let's bend the knees first, hands on floor, walk it out. Boom, hold, walk it back in. The other way that we could do this, again, for a little bit more advanced, and we'll stay with this. Um, let's go front ways first here, Rudy. You wanna step up here a little bit more. So we're gonna bend our hands, go straight down, go down, bend knees, kick your legs straight out, kick your legs straight back in, and stand up. So again, one more time from the front view. Again, look at the knee bent, his arms are engaged, now we're engaging the shoulders and tricep. He kicks his legs out back, kicks his leg back in, we stand up. That completes a repetition of that. Now let's go from the side, no, let's do it this way. So as you can see from here, uh, knee, uh, let's bend down, hands planted, kick out, kick in, and stand up. One more time, good technique, kick out, his body straight, he pauses and stands up. Good job, Rudy. We would do eight repetitions of that. So what's good about uh, that exercise right there, you are hitting all the major muscle groups. Every single muscle is being engaged in that exercise. So that's why there we're only going to limit you to eight repetitions for that. Now the last one, uh, we are gonna bring in the biceps and legs kind of together. We are going to do a back lunge. 
I am a fan of the back lunge over the front lunge, and the reason for that, it protects your patella tendon in the knee, if you have any knee pain in the front of your knee. So, as he's getting ready, his feet are straight, he's ready to go, he always going to do is step back, and then also curl his arms at the same time. Here we go, Rudy. Boom, let's stand up, left leg now. As, let's do it simultaneously. I would like to get his leg a little bit more straight on the back. The back leg needs to be a little bit more straight. There we go, as we're curling at the same time, let's do it one more time from the front, and we're curling and bring it up. Let's do it from the side view now. As we turn right here, so as again, he's gonna step back, extend the leg, bicep curls come up, let's rotate. There you go, let's do another one here, and curl and up. Good job, Rudy, appreciate that. Now with that, again, we're back to our 12 reps. So you're gonna do six each leg. After that, that would conclude our first set. We would rest about a minute, maybe get a sip of water, maybe wipe some sweat off, and then we would do that same thing for another three or four sets, depending on your level, depending how warm you feel, how warm you feel after three sets, uh, or if you feel like you just wanna do an extra set, that is fine as well. But this is a great way to really engage all the muscles. He's already sweating a little bit and he didn't even uh, uh, do the full routine. So again, straight arm jacks, you're gonna do 12 repetitions. Uh, then you will go into the body squats, depending which way you do, the walkout or, the, uh, or right into the lunge body squat, you would do 12 repetitions. Then the down and up, you will do eight repetitions into our final back lunge bicep curl and do 12 repetitions. After all four are completed, that's a set. Rest a minute, minute and a half, and we do that for three or four sets. And then, now, we are ready to get into our workout.